Today I will show you how to make summer composition in Irish lace technique. We are working on the front side. We divide our work on some parts. Make a picture in real size, then make cords and pin them on a mat. Then sew places of contiguity and fill up all the places with chaotic mesh. Then make separate elements and join them with help of the brides. For work you need mat, cotton yarns, crochet hooks, pins, scissors, beads. Make a picture in real size and pin it on the mat. I begin the work from these elements. Begin the work from the cord, make a chain, make a chain of four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, one and two. Then yarn over the hook, pull through, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain stitch, pull up a loop and pull through two loops twice. Continue the work. Chain of three, one, two, three. Make two strings. Insert the hook between strings and double crochet. Pull up a loop. One and two. Then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook. And make double crochet. Here what we have. Let's make one more time chain of three. Yarn over the hook. Pull up a loop. One, two. Pull through all loops on the hook and make double crochet. Here what we have. The length of the cord you determine by pattern. I have done the cord as you can see and pin it on the mat. Now I show you how to make the petals. Now I show you how to make cord on the burden. For the petals I will use cord on the burden. Burden is in the half five times. The length of the cord you determine by pattern. Insert the hook into the loops. Make a chain. And make single crochet around the burden. Pull a little bit. We have done some cord. Now I show you how to make the petal for the flower. Pull up the working loop. And make the turn. Insert the hook into the this stitch. Take the working loop. Pull it through.
The turn is ready. Continue working with burden. Make single crochet around the burden. The number of petals you determine by pattern. Here what we have. I have already pinned my cord. Now I show you how to remove yarn from the burden. We take a needle and thread. Put thread through the needle. I wrap the thread of the burden, put them along the cord. Now we need to sew them together. As you can see, I use the same thread. With the needle go through the stitch and with the needle go through the stitch of the cord, like this. I sew one centimeter of the length. Then I just cut off the yarn. Here what do we have? I cut off the yarns and with the needle go through the stitches of the cord. Now I cut off the main yarn and the cord is ready. Now I pin it. The flowers are ready. Then we need to do thin cord on the burden. Like this. Now I show you how to make cord on the burden. The burden is the thread and the half two times. We turn the work. Insert the hook into the loop, pull up a loop, make a chain, make single crochet around the burden. So you should make single crochet a small piece. I have done small piece of the cord, pull a little bit, make single crochet, we have done some piece of the cord, now I make a turn. Insert the hook into the stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. The turn is ready. Continue working with burden, make single crochet. The space between Elements you determine by yourself or by pattern. Insert the hook into the cord. Take the working yarn, pull it through. 
and pull through two loops, then make single crochet around the burden. I lost my loop, let's repeat again. Pull a little bit, make single crochet. Here what we have. Insert the hook into the stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. So continue working in this way till the end of the pattern. We have done elements. As you can see, I use different kinds of blue. The ready cords you should pin it on the pattern. Next stage, I show you how to make the cords for the leaves or petals. Make a chain, one, two, three, four. Then yarn over the hook, make two strings, insert the hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the chain stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through. Chain of three, one, two, three, then yarn over, insert the hook between strings and chain, pull up a loop, one, two, and pull through, chain of three, then yarn over, insert the hook into the, between strings and chain, pull up a loop, one, two, and pull through here what we have so the length of the cord is determined by pattern we have done cords for the leaves in this case I join it two sides together with help of the chain I have finished the work with element. Now you should sew all places of contiguity. I have already sewn all places of contiguity. In this case I sew some beads. Here and here. Then you should fill it up all three places with chaotic mesh. Now I show you how to fill it up the center of the flower. For this I turn the work. Insert the hook into the Two loops, take the working loop, pull it through. Let's begin one, two, three. Yarn over the hook twice. Insert the hook into the string, pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times. Treble crochet is ready chain one two three remove the hook insert the hook into the cord take the working loop pull it through make a chain one two 
Now I join a bead, take a bead, if you have smaller bead you should chain the hook, I chain the hook, take a bead put it on the hook, take the working loop on the throw. Chain the hook, make a chain, one, two. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, Make double crochet. Chain one. Chain the hook. Take a bit, put it on the hook. Take the working loop of the throw. Chain the hook. Make a chain with bead, one, two. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop of the throw. Chain one, two, three. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord. Take the working loop of the throw. Chain one, Two. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet. Turn the work. Chain one, two. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop of the throw. Chain one, two, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, take the working loop of the throw. I pin this part of the work. Chain one, chain the hook. Take a bit, put it on the hook, take the working loop of the throw, I change a bit, take the working loop of the throw, I lost my loop, make a chain. Take the working loop of the throw, chain the hook, and make a chain with bead. Remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop of the throw. Make a chain one, two, three. Yarn over the hook, make double crochet. I do not finish this stitch, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain space, make double crochet, not finish, then yarn over, pull through all loops on the hook, chain 1, 2, 3, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through. So continue working in this way till the end of the center of the flower. I have already done the chaotic mesh with beads. Remove all yarns on the back side. Now I show you how need to fill up this leaf. For this I turn the work. Let's begin the work. I did a loop, 
Now insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop of the throne, make a chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through. Let's repeat again. Insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through. I pin this cord. Make a chain one. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. One. Two. chain of one two three four five remove the hook insert the hook into the cord Take the working loop, pull it through. Make a chain and pin this chain space. Make single crochet around the chain. One. two and three chain one two three four five remove the hook insert the hook into the cord Take the working loop, pull it through. Pin the chain space, make a chain. Insert the hook into the chain space and make three single crochet. One, two, Three, you should make in this way two more chain spaces with three single crochet. I have done two chain spaces as I said before. Let's make chains one, two, three, four, five, six, remove the hook, insert the hook into the cord, take the working loop, pull it through, chain, one, Make four single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, and four. Pull up the working loop. 
then you should make chains bigger and more single crochet into the chain space of course you should look at the pattern and try to follow the our pattern after that you should make less chain space with single crochet we have done the first row of the dream as you can see i work with each small piece of the cord but in the middle i spent i leave small space for the each chain space skip two rows now i turn the work now you should make single crochet i have done a row single crochet stitches next stitch i join it separate elements with help of the brides I did the first one, now I show you how to make others. For this I turn the work. Begin the work with a needle. I work with a needle and thread, put thread through the needle, insert the needle through the stitches with the needle go through the stitches then with the needle go through the stitches of the single crochet the first base is ready let's make the second base with the needle go through the single crochet Now I will wrap this base, pull a little bit, the bride is ready, now I secure this bride, with a needle go through the stitch. So the bride is ready and we can continue. The summer project is made. You can retouch it from the mat. Here what we have. Let's take a look at the back side. I removed all yarns. Today we have learned how to make unusual, beautiful summer project in Irish lace technique. We invite you to visit our store, Russell Boutique. Russell Boutique is the unique, stylish, handmade clothing studio by Elena Rugal. Together with purchasing the ready clothes offered you are more than welcome to order any model you like at the boutique to be made special for you with love. Thanks for watching.